My fellow Americans, our movement is far from over. In fact, our fight has only just begun. Planets are necessary in Stellaris to support life. But what if we just don't use planets whatsoever? In this video, I am going to completely ignore planets in Stellaris and not colonize a single one of those disgusting mud balls. We're also going to make trade great again because we're going to be playing with the Shattered Ring Origin, letting us start on a Shattered Ring world. I'll also be throwing a little bit of roleplay into the mix and hopefully we'll all have quite a bit of fun. Without any further ado, let's dive in and let me introduce you to the empire we will be playing with today. The dump organization will never colonize a single dirty, disgusting planet. We have finer tastes after all. Led by President and CEO Tronel Dump, we're going to make trade great again. We are of course a mega corporation that not only means we'll get more commercial pact efficiency for more trade from our commercial pacts, we also get the ability to set up branch offices. We'll get some plus 50% empire size from planet modifiers, which is bad for us, but don't worry, we're not colonizing any planets. Sadly, this modifier also affects things that aren't planets, like ring worlds and habitats. Competition is at the heart of dump organization philosophy, and Tronald Dump knows that only through ruthless competition in our dog-eat-dog -dog world can you get ahead. This is going to grant us some leader experience bonuses, some code breaking, leader pool size, and additional leader trait options. Basically, our leaders are going to be slightly better than other empire leaders because we can specialize them slightly more efficiently earlier on. Brand loyalty is the other cornerstone of the dump organization, and this is going to grant us a meager amount of edict fund and a bit of unity. It's mainly here for the RP. Looking at our dump employees, they are all thrifty and rapid breeders. Quite a few of them are paying fines for their rapid breeding activities, let me tell you. They are also a little bit repugnant with teeny tiny hands, but they seem to live honestly forever. They're like orange skinned weirdos that never die. Anyway, they also just throw lots of wasteful junk, rubbish, wrappers all over the place. Terrible, terrible human beings. We're going to take the Shattered Ring Origin. This is part of what we need to do to achieve the No Planet Challenge. It also means that we're going to make trade great again through Ring Worlds. Ring Worlds are going to give us some awesome, awesome bonuses. Shattered Ring grants us some special districts at the start, like the Trade District, which lets us pump up those trade numbers straight away. Fanatic Xenophile will be boosting our trade value and making everyone like us just a little bit more. We'll also grab Materialist so that we can push slightly faster into Cybernetic, which is at the moment before the Machine Age releases still the best ascension path for a trade-based empire. Thank goodness we have Tronald Dump to lead the way though, ladies and gentlemen. His insights will be utterly amazing. I mean, I'm not saying this. I'm not saying this. A lot of other people have been saying this. I'm, I'm not saying this. But Tronald Dump is very principled. He is a politician, an official that you, ladies and gentlemen at home, can trust. His code of ethics and morals always set a good example for others. Thank goodness there's no lightning storms in this part of the galaxy. Or at least that's what my aide Daniel is telling me. If you'd like to follow along at home, these are the settings I'm going to be using today. Dump means business. And ladies and gentlemen, the profits are going to be huge. Absolutely huge. Huge. The needs of the people must come first. And that's why we are going to put a huge amount of effort, huge indeed, into civilian economy. Plus 25% consumer goods, minus 25% alloys right out of the gate. We're also very proud at Dump Organization to announce the creation of a brand new Dump University so that you can understand the fantastic culture of Dump International. And what better place than Dump Tower to learn all about the people, the ways, and the business. If you're enjoying this video, please, huge that like button. Now, President Tronald Dump is just so good at business. Look at his lovely hair, can't you tell? that our entire company must be focused on a mercantile policy. The flourishing entrepreneurs pave the path to dump prosperity. The truest patriot of our nation, CEO Tronald Dump himself, has decreed that we focus on a marketplace of ideas. Yes, these new adaptive economic policies are going to put us light years ahead of any possible competition. A small sublight probe has been found and destroyed clearly the work of some sort of evil Eastern Empire that may have once existed on the glorious Dump International stage. 
Well, the Minister of Defence is dead. Long live the new Minister of Defence. That's that's all fine. All fine. Uh, they may have run into a system with some sort of hostile alien presence. We're not really sure. Not much information has really come out. No one knows. Who knows? No, I don't know. Could be anything. It's all about it. I've known about it for a long time. I know the subject better than anybody. I know. We've met some little spacemen types. I'm sure they're great. They seem lovely, 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 lovely. Um, let's see if they want to buy our stuff. There actually seems to be a whole host of funny little alien states out there. Though the Agarian communal state do seem to have some issues with their form of democracy. Maybe we're going to have to introduce them to a better way. On the other hand, I hear that Primark Besh Naledir is just great. Absolutely great. You know, I'm not saying this. A lot of other people are saying this. Just the best leader. Mm. The same as President Tronald Dump, in fact, who is principled level two and a politician. The people love Tronald so much, they've set up a brand new organization. Dump forever. Dump today, dump tomorrow dump forever and together we're going to make dump great again we will make dump great again with the signing of this new commercial pact between the hathraden league and dump organization we move one step closer to setting up a second dump tower the dump brand must be extended to every business every solar system every place in the galaxy prosperity of tronald dump is eternal Pay no attention to that small fine that we've been issued recently by an international court. That means nothing to us. Utterly nothing. And we will be paying it with all that money we definitely have. Now, because my hands are simply the biggest, the biggest hands you have ever seen. Uh, I'm not saying this. A lot of other people are saying this. But our big hands should be touching other big hands. And for that reason, we're going to, after we win this little election, of course, because we, we can't lose an election, right? Svetlana would not be replacing us. Poor Svetlana. Excellent. We have come back yet again. Isn't that amazing? But anyway, we're going to be finding other big hands to touch with our big hands. We've even set up a commercial pact with the Velutarian Sovereignty. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. They don't like somebody, but luckily that someone is not us. HQ number three is now officially a go. Introducing the all new and improved dump bot. Equipped with the latest in brand new efficient processors straight from my LAN, they have brilliant processing capacity. Mass produced on a scale that means everyone can have one in their home. They are also designed with luxury in mind. The leather upholstery is particularly fantastic. They come in a large box, but that is even better to serve you, the people. We're gonna ship a few units of dump bots over here to the Interstellar Hasukaran Republic. That'll uh, hopefully bring them on side and allow us to finally establish a proper embassy. So they're gonna understand the greatness of Tronald H. Dump. The great leader Primark Besh Naladia, who really, really don't forget, very, very great, an ambassador, principled, eye for talent, all of those things, uh, has taken it upon himself to enlighten some wayward primitives, the Gargaxton, and they've had a little bit of stellar culture shock, but with our help uh, in smoothing over the relations, everything should go fine. To that end, we might even set up a private research enterprise on this planet just so that the Gargaxon can be studied and understood so they can be helped more because they need help. We're going to bring jobs, we're going to bring money, and we are going to help those people. Kind of. We're going to build a wall and the Hathraden League are going to pay for it. That's right, they are going to pay for it. Everyone knows that Tronald is just great. Everyone, everyone knows. So with that being the case, a 40 year succession term for president seems only fair and just. We keep getting refugees, these Avalonians, something is happening out in the Lipian consciousness. Now, I'm not sure this is a good thing. You know, they are bringing drugs, they're bringing crime. Some of them I assume are good Xenos, but we do have to put a stop to this. Unfortunately, due to some stupid parts of our constitution, we are unable to ban refugees entirely, and that means we must endure increased economic profits from these refugees working jobs and paying more tax, and also terribly other nations thinking that we are kind. How could they do this? We've looked into mergers and acquisitions, and given that these folks are ruthless capitalists, I think it's only reasonable that we ruthless capitalist them back. We will have to wait until the provisioners of Umikandra finish their war with them, but then after that... 
Hopefully we can turn them into our little friends. For some reason, somebody said those toasters are citizens. No, 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 no. We've put them back to work in the proper location. I mean, these are just dumb bots. How can a bot have citizen rights? Simply bizarre. We're still perfecting the laws internally at Dump International. We've just changed the voting weight from diplomatic to economic, meaning that yeah, we've got we've got most of the voting weight at the moment. And of course, as you well know, President Tronald Dump is a grey eminence. His strict control of matters of state means this leader resides at the centre of a labyrinthian set of rules, laws and bureaucratic procedures, all designed to enhance Trump's own power. Our neighbours are now weak. They have just basically lost a war, or at least fought it to a stalemate, with the provisioners of Umikandra. Now though, we should uh, pop on in and let them know that we are definitely here to help them out. The Dump family is indeed growing, blessed be thy Dump name. Just so that everyone on Igaria can understand how wrong Shared Burdens is. Ooh, disgusting. We set up a Ministry of Truth to let them know that they have been indoctrinated. Because as everybody knows, they're simply wrong. It's time to start the bidding for the next president. We're going to spend all the money. And we'll, we'll keep bidding. Current bidders at 10,000. Not a problem, not a problem, because we won. Excellent. Let's uh, invest it momentarily. Ooh, an executive retreat would be absolutely excellent for Svetlana to put her feet up on and just really think about the bigger picture. Also, uh, President Donald H. Dump would love it as well, so we're going to go for that. We've just noticed we can purchase some people from the market. We're going to do that. Slaves are a go, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, we will be freeing them straight away and giving them lovely, comfortable lives and jobs in the Dump organization. We're going to convert the Igarians now into a Scalarium. Yes, they'll do some lovely, lovely research for us. Uh, let's see what we can afford. Ooh, this looks like a fantastic contract. I'm sure they'll love it. Dump International would like us to allow subjects in. We'll do it. Let's allow the subjects in. Let's check what that has done to our legal voting weight. We still have a majority in Dump International, so no problem. The block of Tram Bodon 4, well, they're a rather new upstart little species. We're going to take them under the wing of the great and glorious Dump people. Dump International, led by, of course, Ronald Dump, now spans about a quarter of the galaxy. But those are rookie numbers. We need to make it bigger. Now, the provisioners here are denying access uh, to their borders, meaning that our trade fleets cannot move through into other parts of Dump International. This injustice simply cannot stand. And for that reason, we are going to expand Dump International inside of their borders and make them a subsidiary. Riding on the coattails here of Tronald Dump's winning election again, we're going to grab the provisioners and bring them into the fold. Oh no, our allies are building Federation forces, but they're just throwing themselves at the enemy one by one. It's diabolical. Oh well. Well, it sounds like a problem for someone else. If the Interstellar Hesukanan Republic wanted to be our vassal, then uh, we could help them, but they don't. So, can't do anything for them. Yeah, unfortunately, those fleets that managed to deal with one or two ships couldn't deal with the full might of the dump organization. Look at it go. Isn't it glorious? The human star Concordat has proposed secret fealty. Unfortunately, due to the branch offices, we simply cannot get involved in any sort of silly secret fealty dispute. So, nope. On becoming level four, we're getting more trade value from Dump International, more diplomatic weight for the president, and we're going to change the laws just a little bit. Yes, the president should decide when we declare war. It's only reasonable, and the president should decide when anyone is invited. Again, only reasonable. Tronald Dump is, after all, the greatest president this galaxy will ever see. And don't you forget it. We're two years away now from having to end this war a little early. That would not be great for us, but if we were to finish early and settle a status quo, we'd still create a brand new empire out of all of these systems that we have been taking. We've got basically the heart of their empire. Latrepian consumer products has been made. Annoyingly, they are a mega corporation, so that means we're going to have to put branch offices down everywhere as soon as we can. Otherwise, we may lose access to certain locations. We really don't want to lose access to certain locations. Definitely not. The dump brand must expand everywhere. Our neighbors keep trying to invite the Lipian consciousness, this hive mind, into the Federation. 
and we have been denying their request, but you know what? Let's make a difference. Let's bring them in. What is left to do here I leave as an exercise for the rest of the Federation to prove their worth. Our path home from this war for our mighty fleet is currently being blocked by a wraith. We're gonna go and uh, get out the bibs because it's time to chop up this wraith. We'll just wait for our shields to fully charge up. It'll be a little silly to throw ourselves at this enemy in a system with, of course, a 50% sublight speed reduction, but no shield nullification. After having just come from a shield nullifying system, let's try and kill a wraith. Oh, the wraith is hitting us with 520 terahertz emitters. That's bad, but it's no match for our disruptors. We're slowly federating up here, clearing everything up, expanding, of course, Dump International. The main challenge I can see coming in the future is the Masharan commonality and their disgusting United Star nations. Honestly, a terrible idea. I don't know why they tried to do it. They should have known that our great and glorious dump organization would take a big dump on whatever plans they had, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. We're now up to a total of five separate independent colony locations. Florida here is fantastic. It's become a research and development institute. We're trying to work out just exactly what it means for an ultra dump employee to be a Florida man. Together with the dump clerk office, of course, managed from a distance via our lovely Svetlana, we're going to find out what exactly is needed to make this galaxy great once again. We will make the galaxy great again and you know the dump organization is great when you've got this massive level of migration we've got all these pops desperately coming to migrate in and once they arrive they'll be kindly invited to join dump forever just before the turn of the century we're now looking into mega engineering this fantastic technology will finally allow us to bring the ring of people head coverington up to full standards. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Then Dump Tower, Dump University, and that Scottish golf course are going to be so much better. We decided to speed up this new customer acquisition. We're going to get a force of first uh, some robotic diplomats, and then we've had a great idea to clone the president himself. A team of cloned presidents will go out there and each dump will tell them the good news about why they should be joining the dump organization. Given all this discomfort going on in the galaxy, all of these different kind of little petty wars, it seems only reasonable that we propose that the champions of the community become its stalwart defenders. And as the preeminent champion of this community, we are going to step up. Our daughter Irina Dump is there and she will do the right thing. Look at this already, the end of the Husko Imperium. This is why we need greater power today. While gallivanting in the void, we found some sort of Zroni-like fellow who then communed with the spiritual world. Not that it even exists. Now we have a 50% safeguard against the effects of space storms. That is worth its weight in dump bucks. Introducing the brand new Dump Bucks, the latest NFT craze. For the low, low price of simply 15 dark matter, you can get your hands on one Dump Buck. Terms and conditions may vary, refunds not available. Do you know what else is insane? For only 10 euros or your regional equivalent, you can get your hands on Victoria 3, the Callisto Protocol, and Humankind Definitive Edition right now. Simply follow the link in the description to the Humble Bundle store and become a member of Humble Choice. You will not only get access to over 303 US dollars worth of games to keep forever. This isn't something where you subscribe and then lose access to the games after the subscription. Oh no, no, no. You'll also save up to 20% on the Humble Store and get access to even deeper discounts and offers. On top of that, 5% of your purchase goes to charity. And if you follow my link down in the description, you'll be supporting this channel. We can now repair our shattered ring thanks in no small part of the efforts of our key research teams. Let's just get on with that straight away. The latest in a long line of dump security products, the Fortress Corps says they will offer you civil contracts, military contracts, whatever you need to get the job done. Equipped with only the latest in dump weaponry, these ships are ready and raring to go. And it looks like, yep, there goes the Lipian Consciousness and the Avalonian Commonwealth. Welcome, friends, to Dump International. We finally brought them into the fold. We're just a couple of years away now from the repairs 
to Dump Tower being completed, and then each square foot will indeed become 15 square feet. It's an amazing fact of engineering that when Dump Tower is measured, it's always bigger than you think. Bidding begins for the next election. Uh, we're at 27,000 so far. We've got plenty left in the kitty. I'm hoping we can beat the Hathraden League. They're the only other member we're really facing off against here. I'm starting to get a bit concerned, though. Usually they back down by now. They haven't backed down yet. That's not good. Not good. Oh, God. 67,000. No, they can't be allowed to help. Oh, goodness. I almost thought they outbid us. But the dump organization still has financial superiority. Business is booming. Let's give all that money away again. Why not? Because we are only 270 days away here from Dump Tower and the other parts of the dump organization going up to astronomical levels of value. The bonuses we're currently receiving here on that Scottish golf course, the amount of money we are making is frankly phenomenal. 91 pops making 2,000 trade value. Only about 60 of them are actually working trade value jobs. The rest are working things like translucers, culture workers, gas refiners, roboticists, medical workers, things that keep the gears of industry moving. On our council, we have an investor in the dump brand manager spot, Woo Who. Who, you might ask? Woo, that's who. Irina, our chief legal counsel, a lovely daughter. Uh, she is also an investor. And of course, President Tronald Dump himself, the greatest investor this galaxy has ever seen. With Ascension Theory complete, we can now turn on the Scientific Revolution. Excellent. We've definitely got the unity to spare for this one. Mm, architectural Renaissance. I think we're there. Yes, yes. And I could turn on Hearts and Minds, but you know what? Dump Forever already has the hearts and minds of basically everybody in the Dump organization. Dump Fever is strong, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, ho, ho. there we go. Dump Tower is now a forge capital, and it is massive. Let's make Dump University back into a research ring. Dump Tower will remain a forge capital. And we're going to build all the industrial segments we could ever want. Completing that has allowed us to take galactic wonders, meaning we can get a second dump ring up and running and be the economic heart of this entire galaxy with our little teeny tiny dump organization. Obsessingly converting into a commercial ring at the Scottish Golf Course has actually left 28 pops unemployed. Let's build some more commercial segments and stop that nonsense from happening. This is, however, now giving us ludicrous amounts of pop growth from migration. We are stealing 10 migration every month on basically each one of those ring segments and then a little bit more migration on some of the other planets as well. I say planets, sorry, artificial space habitats. The drums of war mean the Great Khan has arisen and it's very close to our defensive network. We're going to jump straight in there and deal with them. How long? 187 days. That is it. That is all the time it will take us to fly out and smack them straight in their stupid little faces. Because you know what? Tronald fancies himself a little throne. While there's a crisis around, it might be worthwhile proposing that the dump organization take a uh, front and center role in defending our beloved galaxy. I believe, yes, there's almost unanimous support for it. <gasps> there we go. As long as we don't kill this crisis too quickly, we're going to have quite a bit of fun in galactic politics now. We're in and amongst the enemy, instantly eviscerating them. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. That's not the Chosen. Where is the Khan? Bring. Me. Khan! Khan! Well, we're gonna have to blast our way through. Let's turn on a couple of edicts quickly. Are they even getting in range of us? Are we just instantly debilitating them? No, I think they're getting a couple of shots in every now and then. They do do a few points of damage before we are swarming them. Bam. Kinetic batteries. I would like that technology, actually. Oh, Strike Force Wyvern has taken quite a bit of a beating. That's not great. Anyway, let's come over here and cloak and grab the debris because I want that kinetic artillery technology. Did we kill him? I think we got him. We got him, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. But uh, the galaxy is still lining up to pat us on the back and give us a little bit more power. We've been taking a look and we've actually found a great system over here for the other Ringworld we're going to build. Taramba has a nice class G star, which is basically the same as the one we've got here in People Head Coverington. And it does sound rather exotic, doesn't it? I really feel like we could be going for a dance and I'm sure that will help with the marketing team. He's back, but not for long. 
We are ready. One system away. We've already jumped in. That throne is as good as ours. And then our vassal network can then become a network of satrapies. Yes. All must submit to the will of Dumpman. Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. You can do it. Some fantastic traits here. I wish I could recruit the Khan, honestly. Oh, he's gone. Do we? We have the throne, ladies and gentlemen. We are now in charge. If I just turn that on, boom, 20% additional weapons damage to all ships. That pumps up our numbers quite a lot. Yeah, we now have double the fleet power of any other nation pretty much. Oh, no, wait a minute. The Hathrad and League are close to us, but they are our bitch inside the Federation, so. Yeah. Well, it's a job well done. Let's head home. Does this mean people aren't voting for us to be the custodian? Oh, unfortunately, our score is so high, it is going to take a long, long time for that score level to track down. I'm hoping we can win this vote before that. If we don't, we might have to call in all the favors, but uh, I'm hoping we don't have to. I think it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Irina Dump is telling all of them just how great the Dump brand is and you know it's a, a huge opportunity for everyone huge i'm thinking dyson sphere could go on this red giant over here a red giant's a great place to have a dyson sphere probably well, i mean why not because it's yeah i know it's not a good place but you, let's pretend it is keep moving keep moving forward ladies and gentlemen pay no attention to the man behind the curtain with the horde reverting to old ways that basically means that yeah yeah we've lost quite a bit of score there I'm hopeful the bias is going to stay in our direction. Yeah, most of these empires seem to be getting bias in our direction. That's fine. That's fine. As long as we keep about half. Oh, God. They're, they're breaking ranks. They're breaking ranks. If only we had the custodian powers already to end this debate. Huh. So on completing this ring segment upgrade, we've actually got no more trade value. That's that's kind of sucky, actually. I'm, I'm a bit... So upgrading the Shattered Ring to a commercial ring has not improved our trade value at all. Like, literally, not at all. We're around 2,200. We're, we're back to 2,200 trade value off 91 pops. We can't even realistically put more pops. I mean, we can have more clerks. Granted, we can get more clerks. Oh, look, dump one again. Uh, we can get more clerks, but that's it. It's not that much. Let's just fully ascend this bad boy. Oh, ho, ho, there we go. Custodianship approved. What we first need is a galactic trade organization. That will help everybody to just, you know, do business out there in the galaxy. And if there's one thing the dump organization knows, it's business. Apparently the Sathwerian Unity, some sort of jellyfish hive mind, are pledged secret fealty to the dump organization. Now, I love where they're going, but I'm thinking bigger. Maybe if we made their overlord into a subsidiary, that would be to everyone's advantage. We've got a little bit of breathing room here. We could probably get another little bit. Maybe we can make the Lipian consciousness just a bit happier. Oh, but first, actually, I think we should diplomatically bring on board the Velutarian sovereignty. We wanted them from the very beginning, and they've just not made it into the dump organization, but I would very much like to rectify that small oversight. So we've got 2,600 here from 98 pops. And they're only providing a base of about 600, but we have so many modifier stack. Advisor, investor, advisor, investor, advisor, investor, security contractors, yada, yada, yada. It's just crazy. Yeah, let's queue up 108 new cloned ambassadors, maybe a couple more. 120, that should be a, a good number here to defend dump outpost number one. Well, the debate's been good and hearty on the Galactic Trade Organization, but, you know, I'm bored, it's over, everyone go home, stop the count. We've also gone out and spent some top notch on three exclusive art exhibit monuments. That's going to give us even more immigration pull on these worlds. Have we had a thousand yet? Not quite. 945 over here. Wow. Absolutely wow. 25 pop growth per month from immigration. Oh, it's so tall. I love it. At long last, the Velutarians are finally coming to the place they've always belonged. We're going to make them a bulwark because honestly, we could afford it if we wanted to. I just need to stop buying 500 alloys a month and then we can easily pay for this 500 energy credits. It's not really an issue. Plus, it lets us put branch offices on their worlds, meaning we'll get those energy credits back almost instantly. Let's do it. Dump organization just got one member bigger. There it goes. Boom. Oh, we found the Voltaim homeworld. Finally. Oh, and it connects up. Oh, that's actually really not good. It now means that our lovely pocket here, which had one entrance point there, has just been connected up to the rest of the galaxy. I'm honestly really annoyed by that. That's super duper not fair. I, I, I spent so much time and work on making this the best little defensive pocket we could have, and now they've just gone and thrown away all my hard work. Oh well. 
You win some, you lose some, I suppose. And then everybody gets an upgrade to the newest, latest version of Jump Drives. Level 5 has just been reached on the Dump International stage. What's this? Yes, we're going to go to very high centralization. That means we could switch over the Federation fleet type to high. I think the answer to that is absolutely yes. And uh, only the president should decide if people are kicking people. That slows down how much nonsense I have to deal with anyway. They'll stop petitioning me to kick people. We've also ascended to the maximum level on our forge capital. Perhaps it's time to take a quick look and change over. I think I'd like to switch brand loyalty out for something else, but I'm simply not entirely sure what it is we would prefer. The obvious choice here would be to take lots and lots of food. We're spending 700 minerals right now on upkeep. We could be spending that on food. And we could drop the relentless industrialists for franchising because I think franchising is the direction we might prefer to go in at this moment. That was a big change. That was a big change indeed. We've got a whole host of new branches coming in. Our head of R&D is going to be back. Minister of Victory has arrived. Chief Legal Counsel. Svetlana is still, of course, in charge of R&D, and Feng Hei is the Minister of Victory. Irina retains Chief Legal Counsel. Wu Hu is now the head of franchising, and Mercedes Sanchez has been brought in as a Soylent expert. All good stuff. We're about 10 years away from some of these leaders dying, though. I'll need to increase their lifespans just a little bit if I want them to stick around. We'll have to do that through society research, I suppose. Right, this is going to hurt us in terms of minerals. We'll stop buying all those minerals, and instead we'll start buying hundreds and hundreds of food just to make sure the economy does not instantly collapse with this new change to Soylent. Aha! Galactic market. The Galactic Stock Exchange is a building we've needed for ages. It grants us not just a merchant, but also 20% trade value on whichever planet we place it on. Combine that with the many other bonuses we are getting, and hopefully we can hit, you know, 4,000 trade value here. Choosing the very last Ascension perk for this mighty nation is proving an arduous task. Some items are calling to us a little bit more than others. We do have very high immigration and a very diverse number of species. Extra pop growth speed would not be bad. Other items also look good. Getting more vassals would be nice. And then there is, you know, something that even makes the power of the force look insignificant. The power to destroy a planet. Ah, it's 2330. Let's fix the galaxy. We are making an emergency of a galactic defense force, which will be necessary with all this, you know, galactic fixing we're going to be doing soon. We're also about to activate the L gate. Probably best to station a fleet next to them, just in case something untoward could happen. Let's make sure to actually cloak the ship that we're sending in to check on the L gate. That uh, is definitely necessary. We don't want it to be destroyed. And apparently we're bringing some diplomats. Fantastic. Bat-grown diplomats. The best kind of diplomats money can buy. Well, should we uh, head through? Might as well, right? Okay, there's nobody here. That's that's fine. Absolutely fine. We'll, we'll just go survey it and we'll park a massive fleet there just in case. J just in case, you know, anything could happen. Don't want to risk it. Why not bring a big fleet? We're going to GDF up and running. We also should probably as well soon be building the Harbinger class. Colossus. Assembly yards are almost ready to go. It'll all be fine. Fine, fine, fine. Let's also make sure to grab terminal egress while we're here. It'd be a real shame to lose out on that. I think we've hit the max value for cut immigration. I don't think you can physically get it higher than 10, which is a little bit hilarious. Capacity boosters will give us another 10 years of leader lifespan on top of what we already have, enabling Tronal Dump to live just a little bit longer, cheating death once more, as it were. But anyway, who said planets were necessary? Certainly not the dumps. Oh, goodness gracious. Thank goodness for that. With that, we've actually made every single one of our uh, vassals happy now. Look at this. They all love the dump organization. Beautiful. B-E-A, beautiful. Scrolling through our branch offices at this point, we do have a, a fearsome number of them. Oh, goodness me. Um, it, it's clear that we are getting a phenomenal amount of value from them, though. We're just making so much gosh darned money i mean look, look think about it look at this look at this look at this one of these one of these branch offices alone here a couple of them are at this 500 energy credit level this is uh what is this one eighth the value of an entire dyson sphere just from these branch offices uh it's amazing some poop old country over there that's ready now we're going to do something a little weird i'm going to dismantle two star bases which may seem like madness but then the next thing i'm going to do 
is create an ultra dump employee and we're going to make them a satrapy yes well isn't this just excellent we will straight away go back and grab our uh, lost star bases but the reason we've done this with this satrapy is that one satrapy here alone just the one satrapy is granting us 52 extra uh, naval capacity and that number will go up as their naval capacity goes up as well then we can put branch officers on them as well and just make them so good <laughs> right let's give them a bunch of snorty snorties row get you know get get the juices flowing wow an automated dreadnought i wouldn't mind grabbing that for us yes an automated dreadnought seems like a security risk to the whole galaxy so we'll go deal with it let's also do something a little bit dangerous and build a a gateway next to the l gate so that we have instant gateway l gate access across our great and glorious empire that means if we lose terminal egress it will be very very bad but we just we just plan on not losing it i suppose let's test out the efficacy of this great and glorious gdf fleet can they take down one little automated dreadnought oh yeah oh the answer to that is it seems like a clear and salient yes we did lose a couple of ships didn't we yeah Passing galactic mobilization has also meant that our satrapies are granted the extra 150 naval capacity, so we are leeching yet more naval capacity from them. It looks like our custodian ship is about to expire. Luckily, I'm going to remove the term limit and then it'll all be fine. We've called in quite a few favors to achieve this, though I'm not sure that was necessarily necessary. Whilst the galaxy is voting yes on this motion, I will, of course, push it through. And that secures our custodian ship in perpetuity which also is shorthand for saying forever i love it i love it i love it i love it the second ring world is well underway we're going to probably struggle to fill it up with pops but we are making phenomenal progress plenty of pop growth being modified by nomadic and land of opportunity here so we're getting a combined what's this about 20 per month once we get a second roboticist which let's get that as soon as we can that'll go up to probably 23 pop growth combined per month we need 256 to generate a pop meaning we're getting a pop every 11 months or so something like that pretty pretty good still this will have nothing on virtual we've already built a bunch of districts here and we're gonna have to wait one year per pop roughly if we were virtual we would already have 40 pops on this world because pop growth would be equal to available jobs arena dump is dead the president's very very sad that's that's his daughter but to honor her, we're just going to throw a body into space. Yeah, it's fine. Now we need a new chief legal counsel. Someone strong. Enter Max Power. He's got a name that you just have to trust. When it comes to trade, we're collecting just under 9,000 trade value. 9,000. 7,000 of that trade value is actually coming from our capital system here, which is producing... Yep, yep, you heard me, 7,000. We just hit 9,000. And half of that is coming from just that one Scottish golf course where we've got 56 traders and 72 clerks, which combined making around 1,000 trade value. But then that is being multiplied by a further 400%. 400%, ladies and gentlemen, trade is good. It's granting us 3,000 unity, of course. It's all of our consumer good needs, 2,500. And on top of that, almost 5,000 energy credits. It's letting us have these carpets of ships. We've got, what have we got now? Let's take a look at our military weight. We've comfortably got about a million fleet power here for our 1,350 naval capacity. Not too shabby whatsoever. Combine that with Defender of the Galaxy and the Galactic Threats Committee, which we haven't triggered yet, but we will soon. And if that wasn't enough, the stronger together, we're looking at a comfortable plus 100% damage to endgame factions. The crisis is not really a concern for us anymore, at least not at the level we have it coming in at. A 25 times crisis would definitely need a bit more work, but we're either running five or 10 times. I can't remember which one we picked. It was earlier in the video, hours ago for me, probably about 30 minutes to an hour for you. But there's basically nothing left to do at this point. We could form the Galactic Imperium, but it would destroy our level five federation, which is granting us so many modifiers. Modifiers to trade value, modifiers to uh, end game crisis, modifiers to trade value more, diplomatic weight, influence, envoys, the trade policy, which means either our unity production would be tanked or our consumer goods production will be tanked. I don't really want either of those situations to happen. Thank you very much. We could go to war with the Northern Federation over here. They are relatively powerful diplomatically. However, to do that, 
I'd have to close down my branch offices. And uh, yeah, I, I don't want to close down these branch offices. They're making more money than we're getting through trade right now. Almost 6,000 energy credits. All of this done within the single lifetime of the great and glorious President Tronel Dump. I'm really rich. Whose hair defies even the fundamental force of gravity itself. But what do you think about the dump organization? Do you think we've made trade great again? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. If you've enjoyed this video where I try to win the game without settling a single planet, you might want to see what happened when I tried to survive a hundred years with only the ranger job in Stellaris. If you'd like to see me take on that challenge, click the video on screen now.